Hey guys, Legus Prime here, back from the new day. I am going to be teaching you guys how to make a nice render on Cinema 4D. Okay, so I got a request from someone if I can do a, how to make a cool professional render um, in Cinema 4D. So, but I want to make a disclaimer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'll make a disclaimer. I am not professional at, by no means. I am not the best at making Minecraft banners and stuff. By no means am I, am I saying any that. I'm just doing this to help you guys out and show you how I make my renders. So, without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Okay. So, um, I will be using the FMR5 rig right here, as you can see, and then, uh, this is Prez HD's Lightroom, so if you just want to get those, I'll have the download links in the description below if you want to get these rigs in this Lightroom. Okay, so first off, you probably want to use your own skin, so we're going to go over into, uh, skin right here, we're going to click on this dot 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 thing. We're gonna go find your skin. My name is Skin Dot Skin Me, and um, we have uh, right here. And um, we want to put no feet on because I think it look good. And we're not gonna be focusing on eyes today, so I'm gonna turn off eyes and you know and stuff. So yeah, now that's all off. And if you have um like two layers on anything you might want to turn that on i only have a hat layer so i'm gonna put the hat layer on okay. um, and if you want to add a sword or any items like a pickaxe or something you can put it in your hand i'll put it in my left hand because i'm not left handed but i always end up making the left hand oh no so i was going to have the iron sword and yeah so we can get into positioning this okay so uh, you guys can really do whatever pose you want. I'll be making mine as kind of like a fighting stance, like he's just getting ready to fight. Or, so I'm gonna bend the knees, just so it's like ready to run or jump. Let's offset it a bit, so it looks a little bit more realistic. And put it forward, this leg forward. So now we're gonna bend this hand. Yeah, maybe rotate his shoulder a bit. So we can go back a bit. There we go. And then, because he's in this type of stance, this arm would be forward. Okay, uh, I want to bend it to the side. So it's a little bit more realistic. Alright. Let's go back to the shoulder, right there. And you can, like, move his chest, his admin. You can, like, do some weird movement and stuff. Um, you can also do this. Let's do that. Again. Okay. Let's again. Let's go and he's kinda in the right fight. He was like, as he's like pulling his hands towards like his chest when he's running, which is actually an incorrect way of running. I ran track. Uh, that's what they said. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's the incorrect way running to run with your hands going in front of you instead of like just straight on parallel to the side. But yeah, we're just gonna do that because it looks a lot more kind of like realistic and animated, I guess. So yeah, we're, we're so we're basically done with this um, pose. But if you want to do stuff like add a cape, we can. If you want to go over a cape. And we're gonna put it on. And you can create your own capes. It's really not that hard. And to edit this cape, if this one has five on it, you're gonna click on the cape. Or actually click on the bottom of the cape. And then you can see this little orange dot right here. That's how you move it. You gotta bend it and stuff to wherever you want it. I'll bend it to the side. Look as it's flapping back. And yeah, now there's a this is a thing I'm really always wanted to know and I never figured it out for a while so I guess I'll just show you right now what it is 
So basically, if I add a camera, I I go up here and click add camera, or I click on camera. We're not in the perspective at the moment, but we're gonna go over here where it says classic 36 millimeter. We're gonna go to super wide to where it's 15 millimeter. And to get into the perspective of the camera, you wanna click on this little white square, or this black square, and then it'll turn white once you click on it. You wanna zoom in. And now, if you look, everything that's close to the camera, uh, camera looks is like a lot like over exaggerated to be bigger. And the legs tend to be bigger too. But it's really not noticeable in this pose because it's very simple. But yeah, now it has like a really cool kind of effect to it. So yeah, we're gonna maybe move this like a bit forward. Yeah, that'd be nice, okay. Move this one back actually. Like that. And now we're basically done with the pose. So this is what you guys can do. You wanna go into render settings. And you can edit these to all you like. I'm gonna keep these just basic. Um, I'm not gonna change anything here. Just to show you that you don't necessarily need render settings. I would suggest you get some. Like make your own or find some. But you don't need them. I'll, I'll just make it without them. So you wanna um, click on this dot dot dot. Click on save as. And you wanna, whatever you wanna name it. I'm gonna name it tutorial. Render. Okay, the desktop. Go. Okay, so now that we're done with that, it's going to be saved there. We're going to pre-render by clicking this, but we're going to just straight render it out onto as a file. So it's going to save as a PNG file because we put PNG here. You can just save it whatever else you want. But for this, we're going to do PNG. You can also change this. Actually, you probably should change this resolution to 300. That's why I like it at. So just right under the resolution, just change it to 300. The, this is HD quality, so we'll just keep it at this. And at 1920 by 1080, that's not how your settings are. So we're gonna click on this little render to picture viewer. And I already kinda did a thing to test it out. Uh, yes, I do wanna overwrite it. That's probably not gonna pop up to you for, for you, so don't worry about that. And as you can see, it's rendering. Okay. Now that we're in Photoshop with our render, okay, we're just gonna add a black background. So I'm gonna go down here, over into this little layer thing. You're gonna click on that, it's gonna make a new layer. And now it's a new layer, it's a blank layer. So we're gonna wanna get this paint bucket and make it black. And uh, right before I do actually, you can see that it has harsh lines and we will be fixing that in a second. Okay, so to, to fix those harsh lines that you see there, they're kind of like black at the end. We will do something that's a really nice technique and it makes it kind of actually look really good. So if you want to know how I duplicate this layer, I basically took the layer and dragged it over to the little um, layer creator thing, how we made this layer, but I dragged it down in there. And we're going to take this layer, we're going to put it on the bottom. I guess it really doesn't matter. Which one's the top to bottom. But now we're going to go into blur, or filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're, I'm going to put it at 622. But um, before I do that, there's also a lot of other things you can do. Like, here's the thing I like to do a lot is motion blur. And you can make it as if he looks like he's moving. And a cool thing is to do is like put it really high, like this, and then erase his front half. So it looks like he came from this position. But no, we're just going to stay with the Gaussian blur today. So we're going to go into Gaussian blur. 16.2 and okay so because we didn't have any render sends you see like all these weird shadows but yeah just remember you can fix that if you want to add a render setting but we're gonna do this we're gonna go into gradient first we're gonna use this um black to white back um thing I'm actually yeah dot if you want to do like the middle somewhere else so I'm gonna make it like that now um the thing you can do is if you want to be dark outside you can do the exact opposite and put white on this side and black on that side and it'll make it look like it's dark but we're gonna make it as if it was light outside so yeah okay you're gonna go on to overlay and now it looks all shiny at the top you can change opacity to whatever you want 
I'm gonna keep it here. Now we're gonna go to Satin. We're gonna click on Overlay. Now we can change the opacity once again. Something that you guys may like. Now we're gonna go to Inner Glow. I'm gonna change this glow to white or a whiter, whitish color. I don't mean it perfect. Because it's really hard to tell in the end when it's close to white or not. So we're gonna take that size and put it to wherever you want. And then you need to put the choke. This kind of makes it have a cartoony effect. We're gonna go on overlay again. So it kind of has a cartoony line effect. I don't know if the choke size is size. So that kind of has like a cartoon effect. It doesn't look cartoony now, but if you were to put it on like a banner, it looks really cartoony in my opinion. And mess around with the opacity. I'll you know, put that down a little bit lower. And yeah, we're almost done. Now we can um, we're gonna duplicate this this layer. It doesn't matter. Um, you just don't do the blur one. That's you just don't do the blurred one that you blurred. You're gonna take this top one with the effect that you just did. You drag it back down and duplicate that layer. And now we're gonna raster tie ra raster rasterize this layer style. I just right clicking and clicking rasterize. I cannot talk today, so sorry. And we're gonna go into filter. We're gonna go into filter gallery right here under filter. So now, now, um, if you did not know how to get to this, you, there, you may pop up an artistic. That's how it usually happens. But what you gotta do is go into stylize. And you're gonna click on glowing edges, and then you're gonna click OK. Now you see that it looks like has like a big giant negative effect to it. Like it's in a negative universe or whatever you want to call it. We're gonna bring the opacity down to 16 or 15. So around this line, you can change it to however you, however you want. And yeah, now it looks really cool. Now, if you have really intense lines, like like find some um, very intense lines, like right here, you can go ahead and erase where it is. But we do not need to do that. So we're just gonna go to 15. I mean, you still can, because you see the lines right here. But, yeah, that's basically how you um, make a really cool render. As you can see, this render is really professional looking, besides the uh, render settings. Just remember, you can change render settings to whatever you want. You can look up a tutorial on how to do that. But, yeah. And uh, another thing I want to teach you guys, right before we go, is, uh, again, if these harsh lines, and they're still there or anything, or you want to have a really cool effect, you can go into the smudge tool right here. You can go into uh, you can duplicate a layer. This layer on the top. We're gonna rasterize it, rasterize it. Uh, or you can also just edit this one. But I like being safe and just making two. So and you can just like go like that, and you can just smudge it. And it's a little weird looking because um, we had this layer on top. So yeah, but you can just do that. That's why I like doing sometimes. I've done stun on my banners. And yeah. But that's just something you can do. I like doing that. Make a new layer. Put it on top of all of them. And you can go and make this white. Get a paintbrush. I like to do a paintbrush. You can use it as a dot from a pencil, which makes it a bit harder looking. But you can do that. So you just click on that. And you can add those little tiny sparkles that you may see in some banners. And then we're gonna make for another dot. We're gonna make this a little bit smaller. Make that small. And that's how it works. I I I I always wanted to know how to do that when I first started GFX, and I never figured it out. And it turned out it was really simple. You just gotta draw those dots in there. And of course, you can do the pencil thing where if you want if you more harsher or cartoony or whatever you wanna do. But yeah, let's just save for web now. So we're gonna click 1920 by 1080, that's good. PNG 24, that's how I have it. You can put this wherever you want. I have it by Buick right now. I think nearest neighbor will make it like a lot harder edges, but I'm not really sure. I'm gonna click on save. I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'll just save it as tutorial render. And now we're done, so you can go and check out your render it's gonna be wherever you saved it to and um yeah we're just done so thank you guys for watching if you did if this did help you please do comment down below and leave a like if you did enjoy this video 
and I will see you guys later, and also ask for more tutorials if you need them. See you guys. Whoa.